Lord. Praise the Lord. That young man that the pastor was talking about now, 23 years of age, rolling like that on that board at the mention of the name of Jesus. He got up. You will get up. He started walking. You will walk. You will see. Power, the power that never fails will come upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. Not only that he was walking, he raised up that board and then to run, you will run. Everything impossible will be made possible tonight. You will be saved. You'll be healed. You'll be delivered. And this day will mark a great day of miracle in your life in Jesus' name. Are you there? I know you are there in the crowd, but are you there for miracle? Yeah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, yeah. we thank you tonight and bless you. We know which you all things are possible. That's why we came, because of the power that never fails. And I pray that power will work in every life every soul, every spirit, everyone today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Miracles tonight. Amen. Miracle of salvation. Amen. Miracle of healing. Amen. Miracle of deliverance. Amen. Wonders in every life. Amen. Confirm it, Lord, here, there, over the radio, on the television, and the people that are connected through social media in every congregation, every country, every community, Lord, do it in every life in Jesus' name. We praise your name and thank you because we know it is done. And everyone will have their part in Jesus' name. God bless you. You can sit down. We'll be talking about the power that never fails, the mercy that never fails, the grace that never fails. Today, I want to talk about the faith that never fails. As you believe the Lord, as you know that God, who has made his promises, he is a faithful God, a never failing God as powerful as mighty today as he was on the day of creation and he said let there be and there was immediately that same God mighty as ever before powerful as ever before loving compassionate impartial as ever before tonight is coming your way power will walk in your life anointing will break the yoke in your life in jesus name today i want to talk to you on sustainable freedom through faith in the father's faithfulness freedom faith the Father and His faithfulness, sustainable freedom through faith in the Father's faithfulness. Look at John chapter 8, and I'm reading from verse 32. John chapter 8, reading from verse 32. <clears throat> in John chapter 8, verse 32, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Ye shall know. Depends on when you want to know. 
you can know it in five minutes you can know it in ten minutes and the moment you know the truth and it is the truth that sets you free ye meaning you shall know whether in five minutes or ten minutes or fifteen minutes shall know the truth and the truth that you know will set you free free from what free from what adam and eve brought into the world before they brought that evil sin that affliction that disobedience that rebellion against god before they brought sin into the world there was no sickness and there was no satanic affect affliction and there was no evil there was no suffering and now jesus said that even though adam and eve brought that into the world there's a way there's a plan there is the power to set you free welcome tonight i welcome you to freedom yeah. and he says you shall know the truth the truth that adam and eve did not keep the truth that cain did not have the truth that those people nimrod that brought in or built the tower of confusion and the truth that the gentiles did not know and therefore they were in darkness they were in sin they were in sickness they were in affliction they were in suffering that truth is coming to you tonight amen, amen. And ye shall know the truth, praise the Lord. I will know the truth. I will know the truth. It's the truth that sets you free. Free from sin. Free from evil. Free from bad habit. Free from sickness. Free from cancer. I did it hear your amen. And you are free from tuberculosis. And you are free from all the oppression and the affliction of the devil. Once you know the truth, it says, The truth shall set you free. Did you see that? It's not rolling on the ground will set you free. It's not going to drink out of the water of river Jordan will set you free. It is not ritual. It is not ceremony. It is not religious right that will set you free. It is not a man that will set you free. The truth that comes to you and penetrates your life as truth enters sin will take the run as truth enters sickness will run a relay race fast out of your life and i come today to just tell you that truth all you need to just stay there stay there and the truth enters and darkness will go out and the truth enters and sin will go out and the truth enters and sickness will go out and the truth enters and suffering will run out of your life in jesus name and ye shall know the truth and ye shall know the truth and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free look at verse 36 in verse 36 it says if the son therefore shall make you free ye shall be free indeed did you hear that number one free number two free indeed one hundred percent free from the top of your head to the tip of your toe your spirit your soul your mind your body free indeed tonight is your night tonight is my night the cord that binds you 
the chain that binds you, the power that binds you, the darkness that envelops you, and all the evil that ever came into your life, freedom has come for you today. For me, for me, it is confirmed in heaven. And you will see the manifestation as we pray. When that final amen comes, you're through. Amen. You have a testimony tonight. Amen. What is the testifier? I'm looking for a testifier now. It will come. Amen. I said it will come. Amen. Three things we're looking at. Number one, the sure foundation for the father of the father's faithfulness and then number two will have our secured freedom from fatal feebleness number three we're looking at the steadfast favors through a firm focused faith look at number one there number one is talking about a sure foundation now if we're going to have freedom if we're going to have recovery, if we're going to have release, if we're going to have healing, miracle, and we're going to have redemption, and the power that sets free is going to come in our lives and is going to perform that miracle, instantaneous miracle, immediate miracle, powerful miracle, a wonder-working miracle in our life. We have to understand the faithfulness of the Father because, you know, the foundation of what we have, everything depends on the faithfulness of the Father. What if he wasn't faithful? He'll say, I'll do this, it will not be done. He'll say, I'll get you there, and he doesn't get you there. It is because he is faithful. The Father's faithfulness, that's the foundation of our faith, and that is what we depend upon. And tonight, that faithfulness will be manifested in your life in Jesus' name. The sure foundation, undoubted foundation, unshakable foundation, an eternal foundation that here is the Father, the Father of light. Here is the God, the God of heaven. Here is the God that has all power in your life. And because he is faithful, whatever he has said, he will do. He will do it in your life. He will do it in my life. Because he is faithful. Our faith is based on the sure foundation of the almighty God. The sure foundation of the Father's faithfulness. Look at Psalm 789. I'm reading from verse 5. It says, the heavens shall praise thy wonders, O Lord, faithfulness also, thy faithfulness also, thy faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints. Look at verse 6 there. In verse 6 it says, for who in the heaven, who in the high heaven can be compared unto him, Lord, unto thee, Lord, who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto the Lord. He is so faithful, there is no angel as faithful as him. There is no personality as faithful as him. There is no trusted man anywhere in any generation as faithful as him. Who among the sons of men, among the mighty are as faithful 
as our God in heaven. Look at verse 7. In verse 7, he said, God is greatly to be feared. It's greatly to be trusted. It's greater to be looked up unto in the assembly of the saints and to be and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. We need to respect him. And we need to understand that because he is God and because he is faithful from generation to generation, from century to century, and from decade to decade, and from year to year, God is always faithful. That is the foundation on which we pin our faith and we say God cannot lie. God cannot disappoint and God cannot forget everything he has said and because he has said it and because he will always do what he says that faithfulness of God gives us the assurance that when we call upon him the sinner will be forgiven the sinner will be saved when we call upon him the sick will be healed when we call upon him the oppressed and the afflicted will be delivered and it will happen tonight yeah. to you yeah. where are you it's coming your way yeah. miracle deliverance total freedom he tells us in verse 8 in verse 8 he says so lord god of hosts who is a strong lord like unto thee strong who can you compare with him he can take any load away he can remove any mountain out of your life. He's strong, he's great, he's mighty, and he is powerful. It says, unto thy faithfulness round about thee. Thy faithfulness round about thee is because of that faithfulness. That's why we have trust in him. That's why we have confidence in him. That's why we know that this is what he will do. Your own time has now come. My own time has now come. The time of salvation and the time of freedom and the time of deliverance and the time of an immediate instantaneous miracle, it will happen in your life, in my life. In my life. Look at Lamentation. I'm reading Lamentation chapter 3. And we're looking at verse 23. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 23. It says they are new every morning. They are new every morning. All the promises he has made is compassion, is mercy, and his love. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. That's the foundation of our faith. That's why we believe and that's why we trust that this is what you will do because is salvation is available, is healing is available, is deliverance is available and it's available for you. And the moment you just raise up your hand like this, he'll then drop his hand. Your hand will touch his hand supernaturally. And then everything you are asking for, everything you are praying for, it will come. To you. To me. To the people over there online. Because great is thy faithfulness now. How do I plug my cord into that socket of the faithfulness of God? What's the foundation? What's the reason? How will I have the fulfillment of the promise that he has given. Look at 2 Timothy chapter 2, and we're reading from verse 19. 2 Timothy chapter 2, we're looking at uh, verse 19. It's talking about the foundation that we're talking about, the sure foundation, the sure foundation of the Father's faithfulness. Look at this, we're looking at 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Every day, 
The foundation of God standeth sure. Every time the foundation of God standeth sure for everyone. The foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal. Having this seal. You understand? Seal in the Roman government. Whenever they took a decision, then they will put a seal. That means it cannot be altered. It cannot be changed. It cannot be adulterated. It cannot be cancelled. The foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. An angel cannot change it. It has a seal. Satan cannot change it. It has a seal. Man cannot change it. It has a seal. The day, the climate of the world cannot change it. And the location of the world, whether it's in Africa or it's in Asia or America, all the different climates of the world, conditions of the world cannot change it because it has the heavenly seal and it says the Lord knoweth them that are his and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity oh, what's that saying is saying all have sinned and come short of the glory of God all have been in evil in iniquity since the time of Adam and Eve we have all been in transgression and transgression sin iniquity like termites is eating up the wood the fence is sitting up our ground where we stand and it says as long as we remain there the termites of destruction the termites of the primitive, the termites of evil, and the termites of desolation. Those termites will be eating up a very fabric. And he says, what do I do now? Because I want freedom. I want salvation. He said, go away from those termites eating up. At the fabric of your life and you depart from iniquity and then you come to the side of the Lord he'll forgive everything that took place on that side when those termites of depravity termites of defilement termites of destruction termites of desolation when they were eating up your life he'll forgive all the iniquity tonight forgiveness has come freedom has come and then he says a wall of demarcation between you and those termites of defilement termites of disobedience and termites of destruction now you're on this side because you now have the seal on you you will not be destroyed i will not be destroyed the lord will manifest that power that freedom in your life even tonight because of the sure foundation of the father's faithfulness we're coming to point number two point number two we're looking at our secured freedom from fatal feebleness the world is feeble fragile fragile that a little drop life is gone there are people they're so feeble they're so fragile because all those tamais have eaten up the very center of their strength of their life and now they're sick and they're feeble they're anemic they're powerless a little push like this the man is gone a little uh, slumping and the man the woman is gone feebleness but today 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 your feebleness will be turned around and you will be strong in jesus name secured freedom that christ gives us freedom because he said if the son therefore shall make you free ye shall be free indeed and then 
he secures that freedom. You have it today. It continues for the following week. It continues the following month. And then for the rest of your life, that freedom can remain. You will be well. You will be strong. There will be security on everything that the Lord had given you. Let me show you this. In Psalm 105, I'm reading from verse 37. Psalm 105, verse 37. He brought them forth also with silver and gold. They were poor slaves in Egypt. And then the Lord said, take a lamb. That lamb you will sacrifice. That lamb will be your substitute. That lamb will take away, carry away all your problems. And then they did that and they applied the blood of those lambs upon the lintels of their houses. That is when you are entering their house like this, the top wood at the door there horizontal at the top you apply the blood of the lamb on the side post of that door you apply the blood of the lamb that's all that's all that's all and then when the death angel pass when i see the blood i will pass over you that's why john said the next day he saw jesus coming and he pointed at him and said behold the lamb of god not the lamb of man, the lamb of God. Not the lamb you buy in the market, the lamb of God. Not the lamb, the animal you raise up yourself, the lamb of God. Not the lamb on earth, it's the lamb that came from heaven. He takes away the sin of the whole world. And when you believe in the blood, of the Lord Jesus Christ because he was the final sacrifice because he was the foremost substitute and because he was the one the faithful lamb of God that the father had sent when you believe that that blood is sufficient for you he'll bring you out of your slavery amen, amen. It'll beat you out of that habit that enslaved you, that you wanted to be free, you could not be free. Today will be the day, will be the time of your freedom in Jesus' name. He brought them out. Your time has come. He'll bring you out. He'll bring you out. Out of darkness, out of defilement, out of destruction, out of damnation out of eternal damnation it will bring you out today he brought them forth also with silver and gold you didn't have anything to eat before manna will come from heaven for you provision will come from heaven for you performance the performance of the lord that it will turn your poverty into wealth you know the greater amen you say, hold on, hold on. The greater amen you say, the greater the prosperity. Yeah. The greater the performance of the promise of God in your life. Yeah. I must also say my own amen. Amen! Yeah. With silver and with gold. And there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Not one feeble person among their tribes. Whatever has come in your body to make you feel weak and feeble, almost barely living, you are between death and life, life and death tonight, the Lord will take it away. The sickness, the oppression, the infirmity, the trouble that bows you down. You cry every day. The Lord will wipe your tears away. You regret, why did I come to this world? And even if I'm going to come to the world, why did I, why was I born in this place? 
My friend, things will change. The strength of the Lord, the power of the Lord, the glory of the Lord, the faith that never fails will bring supernatural freedom in your life, even tonight in Jesus' name. It says, and there was not one feeble person not one feeble child, not one feeble youth, not one feeble adult, not one feeble worshiper, not one feeble believer. Those who believe in the Lord and they believe in the proclamation of the Lord, the Lord will turn all the feebleness around in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Look at 107, Psalm 107. I'm looking at verse 20 Psalm 107 we're looking at verse 20 he sent his word understand he sent his word why don't you understand that when God was going to create this earth everything was void everything was empty no sun in the sky no moon at night no sea no water, no ocean, no solid ground, no fish, and no animal, and no grass. God did not have to come here on earth physically and then plant trees and plant grass. He did not have to come here physically and dig and dig so that there will be water. He didn't have to come so that the animals will reproduce and fill up the earth. He stayed in heaven and he only spoke the word because that's God. That's God. All God needs to do is speak the word. He stayed over there in heaven. And he said, let there be, there was. Let there be the sun, the sun, there was. Let there be the moon, the moon, there was. Let there be the stars, the stars, they just appeared. Let there be the ocean, and let them come this way, just like that. And then let the, let the seas be filled with fish and with different kinds of fish the big ones and the whales and the normal one and it was and now he created man after he made everything available and he formed man out of the dust of the earth and he breathed unto man his own breath his own spirit actually if we carry that breath and that spirit, it's a spirit of faith. That's the original man. When he was created and made, that breath of life was the breath of faith. And the breath of strength. And the breath that was free made him free. Now, that word of creation, that word of recovery, that word of restoration, that word is still as mighty as ever. And now he wanted the children of Israel to come out of slavery, out of their suffering, out of their sin, out of everything that was destroying their life. And he sent his word. Do you remember the man at the time of Jesus that came to Christ and said that my servant is grievously, terribly tormented of the devil? And Jesus said, I will come and heal him. The man said, no, we don't need to take the trouble. The father stayed in heaven and then he spoke the word and the word was so mighty and powerful and said the whole thing that we see now on earth. You don't need to come, stay where you are, speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. And it was so, and it will be so in your life. Speak the word. The father tonight will speak the word 
I will be his mouthpiece and then you will hear the word everything that is said will be fulfilled in your life because he sent his word and healed them he sent his word and recreated them that means whatever is missing in your body that word powerful and mighty will create that thing in jesus name who oh, it is said is because one nerve is caught he said it's because one nerve in the body there is dead they said it's because of the back of the retina he doesn't have all that he thought to have a creative miracle coming your way tonight and when that creative miracle takes place your blind eyes will see your lame legs will get strength and you will get up and everything that appears is run down your battery run down the battery of life that keeps you alive and keeps you awake and keeps you strengthening the battery of life the lord will speak the word tonight and your battery will be recharged and your life will be restored and life will come and have a new turn in your life tonight in jesus name he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions it will happen i said it will happen look at first peter chapter 2 and i'm reading from verse 24 first peter chapter 2 we're looking at uh, verse 24 it says who his own self bear our sins courage our sins removed our sin because his savior he died the death you should have died the damnation you should have got he carried that dam damnation upon himself he himself his own self bear our sins uh, you know when you are to you know bear something you're carrying something uh, there are many look at that one two three four five uh, and then you bring everything together and you try to carry everything like this some of them uh, because you're a man because you're a woman because you're a boy because you're a girl some of them are dropping and then you try to you know pick the one that dropped and you put it inside another one drops there and then you are not able to carry everything but jesus is the perfect one perfect power perfect knowledge perfect sacrifice and perfect substitution everything that he carries all your sins all your sins none will drop none will remain in your life he carries everything tonight he will carry all your sins away because his own self bear our sins in his body on the tree on the tree that means the cross on which christ died is not the cross of iron it's not the cross of you know a metal brass it's the cross of wood that's the tree and then it says that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness righteousness now will come in your life the truth will set you free He'll give you forgiveness. He'll give you freedom. He'll give you redemption. You'll be a new girl, a new boy, a new man, a new woman, a new person from tonight in Jesus' name. And then it says, it says, before he finishes the sentence, it says, by whose stripes you were healed. By whose stripes you were healed. What is the person you there? The ye healed, healed, healed. That fibroid will vanish away. That pain will vanish away. That thing pinching your eyes as if there's sand there. All that thing will vanish away. The stone in the kidney, it will vanish away. The pile, it will vanish away. And the joint 
your knees. You can't bend it. You can't stretch it. It just stiff like that. The ointment of heaven will take that friction and reach it thin away from your knees tonight in Jesus' name. By whose stripes ye were healed. Look at verse 25. In verse 25, for ye are ye were a sheep going astray, but and now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Return. That's the word. You say, Lord, tonight I return. Tonight I come. And as you come, as you return tonight, peace will settle in your heart. Joy will settle in your heart. Salvation undoubtable salvation salvation that is real you even feel it inside you that salvation will come freedom 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 from everything that adam and eve brought into the world you'll have freedom tonight in jesus name look at number three here number three is the steadfast favors through a firm focused faith through a firm focused faith as we come to the Lord tonight he gives us favor favor in your life tears wiped away sorrows taken away sin forgiven and the bondage the Lord will break the bondage of your life you know, you know how you try, how you tried, and you made resolution, resolution, resolution. I'll not do that again. I'll not do that. I'll not do that again. Because the center of that resolution is the I. I standing alone without heavenly help. I standing alone without the mercy and the salvation of Christ. I I will not do that again because that will is isolated all alone without the help of heaven. That's why those resolutions don't work because it's unaided, because it doesn't have any help, because it's I, I, I will do that. I will not do that. It doesn't work, but heaven's help will come to you tonight. Heaven's redemption will come to you tonight. Look at Acts chapter 2. And I'm reading from verse 41. Acts chapter 2. And we're looking at verse 41. Then they that gladly received his word. Who are those people? It's you now. As we have been saying that excited, yes, amen. And you are happy. And every word you are hearing, you are happily receiving that and sinking that in. And when I say you want to receive Jesus as your personal savior, you're so happy. You stretch forth your hand without delay. That's the, those are the people. And you're one of them. The people that gladly, happily, joyfully receive the word. What word? When Peter told them, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, and ye shall receive the remission of sin. They didn't say, repent, I'm not ready. They didn't say, repent, I love my sin. They didn't say, repent, return, turn. No, I don't want to do that. I still want to enjoy sin happily. And immediately they said, yes, we're here. We return. We repent. And those people that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Even tonight, you will come into the kingdom. You will come into the kingdom. You're happy, you say, Christ is my Lord tonight. Christ is my Savior tonight. Christ is my Redeemer tonight. I know the truth now. I know the truth. The truth as it is in Christ. And because I know the truth, truth personified in Christ, the Son of God. And if He will set you free, you'll be free and free indeed as you receive that 
joyfully it says they were added unto them three thousand so let's look at verse 42 and it says in verse 42 and they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and fellowship and in the breaking of bread and in prayers verse 43 it says and fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles many signs and wonders signs and wonders on that side there today signs and wonders in my front there tonight and signs and what look at that look at that signs and wonders coming upon you there tonight in Jesus name as we receive the word is the word that brings the miracle is the word that brings the healing is the word that brings the deliverance is the word that brings the restoration is the word that brings the signs and wonders and it says and many signs many wonders were done by the apostles look at verse 47 now in verse 47 it says praising God praising God you will praise God tonight you will give your testimony tonight because there's going to be a performance a performance of the fulfillment of the word of God it says praising God and having favor with all the people you have favor where you have been rejected before they will receive you where you had had suffering and problem before a new life will come and things will turn around for the better in your life when Christ comes in crisis will go out of your life chaos will go out of your life confusion will get out of your life let christ come in let christ come in and the peace of god will come and the restoration will come and the salvation will come and then you have favor favor from heaven and favor on earth you're going to have and the lord added to the church and the Lord added to the church it's not talking about denomination and the Lord added to the triumphant church and the Lord added to the militant church and the Lord added to the growing church and the Lord added to the lively church and the Lord added to the Bible believing church the Lord will add you to his family yeah. and you see that's my newborn son. That's my newborn daughter. Maybe you are 80 years of age, all the same God is the everlasting one. He'll call you son. And maybe you are 90 years of age, he'll call you daughter. And he'll say, Come in. And he'll write your name in the family registry you write your name in the book of life and that grace that never fails and that mercy that never fails well the faith that never fails will preach in your life tonight in jesus name such as shall be saved saved restored free and then added to the family of God. There are two kinds of families. The family of God. Those are the people who are going to heaven. And then there's the family of Satan. Those are the people that are going to follow Satan to where he's going forever and ever. I will not be in the family of Satan. I, 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 me, by the grace of God, I will not be in the family of Satan. Which family would you be? talk which family would you be in that's why the invitation is coming to you now you cross over and then uh, you leave the family of darkness and the family of sinners and the family of rebellion and the family of evil and the family of depravity and the family of bad, bad habits. And you leave the family of Satan. You say, now I declare for Christ. I declare for Jesus. He's my final sacrifice. He is my Savior. And now I come to him. And he says, whosoever 
comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. He will welcome you tonight into his own family. Where are you? I said, where are you? Come into the family of God and the Lord himself will add you to that victorious, unconquerable church and sin will not conquer you anymore. Sickness will not conquer you anymore. Suffering will not conquer you anymore. Amen. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. This is the time of your favor from heaven. You've heard the truth. And the Lord wants you to accept the truth. And Jesus is the truth personified. He's made the final sacrifice for you. And he's brought salvation unto you. Freedom unto you. It's bowed and eyes closed. You want that salvation of the Lord? You want that forgiveness from the Lord? You want that freedom from the Lord? Right now, wherever you are, you raise up your hand. Praise the Lord. God bless you there. God bless you there. God bless you there. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. You must not miss this chance. This opportunity that Christ now offers you. The freedom the forgiveness, the salvation, because he paid the price for your salvation and redemption. Raise up that hand, raise up that hand, raise up that hand on the radio, on the television, on the media, anywhere you are. The call is coming to you now. You shall know the truth. You have heard the truth, and that truth will set you free, make you free. Raise up that hand. If you are raising up your hand, you'll stand up wherever you are. Stand up wherever you are stand up stand up for jesus and you say yes i'm for christ now i'll not remain in the family of satan i'll not remain in my defilement in my destruction in my desolation i'll not remain in my damnation and condemnation you rise up now because you want the freedom on my right hand side there in front of me here on the left hand side here at the back over there anywhere you are now over the radio over the television on social media anywhere you are the salvation is coming to you right now you raise up your hand and then you stand up god bless you there god bless you there as you're standing up i just close your eyes and say lord i come i come out of my sin I come out of my shame. I come out of those bad habits. It's not resolution, it's repentance. I turn away from everything I've been doing before. And I want your grace to come into my life. Your forgiveness to come into my life. And I want your salvation restoration of peace and joy to come into me right now thank you lord thank you lord i gladly receive your word i've heard your word and i gladly receive that i believe you died for me on the cross of calvary and i believe i'm saved i am forgiven i am set free I'll pray for you now. Keep up your hand now while you're standing up. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we well, thank you. Father, you are faithful. And whosoever calls on you through Christ, you will not reject. All these standing up, pressing up their hands, they come out of their sins, out of their darkness, out of their evil, out of the defilements of their lives and they come to you now receive them forgive them save them set them free thank you lord we know you cannot fail your word of promise cannot fail whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved let your salvation be definite 
and real in every one of their lives right now. Thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors and members of the choir and other leaders, they are there and they'll attend to you now. Don't leave, don't sit down until they have got your name, your details. We need those details so that we will help you to continue in the grace of God. Our officiating minister can come right now to help us with the counseling. Check up, ministers, uh, counselors, check the correct numbers. And uh, you have given your life to Christ now. Welcome to the new fold. We are happy that you have joined this family of God. It's a great family. That's why we want to need us. Please give your correct details. You are now a child of God, a new creature. Your life is completely changed now. If you are watching online, you give your life to Christ. After the pastor's message this evening, there's a link. You will see it displayed online there. On the YouTube, on Facebook, on the GS official pay, uh, Facebook page. It's everywhere. On your screen. Get that link. Place it on your computer and click on it. It will bring out a form. Fill that form and send it back to us electronically. We'll assist you to further your new work with Christ. And those who are listening to the television, you just gave your life to Christ, you are a VIP. Send your name, phone number, and your location to us via SMS or WhatsApp. I will call the number now, plus 234-915-444-9263. The number again, plus 234-915. 444-9263. There'll be a special meeting. We call it uh, Lunch Hour with Jesus. It's for all those who give their lives to Christ. We had it earlier today. It was wonderful. For you, it's tomorrow. 3 p.m. At this crusade ground, right in the hall before me, by the classroom, by my right, meet us there, meet us there. There'll be also a special online banquet for all those watching online. You gave your life to Christ. On Sunday, 4th December, you'll join us at this banquet. It's a very special one. Yola Believers Banquet will hold at Old Jerry, Popular Street, at 3 p.m. Join us for it. And uh, online one will hold that same, uh, that same Sunday, online. 
is always a blessing. Be there. Now, councillors, hurry up, but get the full details. We need those details. Our Father in the Lord will be praying for you. The GCK convener will be praying for you. And we all will be praying for you as a family. That's why we need your details. Please, councillors, I need signal to confirm. To the left, if you are true, can you please indicate by waving the flag? The extension between wing one and wing two, if you are true, can you please wave the flag? Win true. In the open field between win two and win three, if you are true, please, can you indicate by waving the flag? Win three. Please hurry up. And you that are waiting, as we're all waiting for the miracle prayer, be praying. Because tonight will be your night to give testimony. Tonight is your night. Councillors, please hurry up, but get the correct details. The phone numbers, make sure that they're all correct. The correct name. You can use description, like bus stop, or where we can trace you. Councillors, are you through all right? They hold before me. You are true, thank you. By the right, please, if you are true, wave the flag. And councillors, stay with the people so that as they receive their testimonies, you bring them forward here so that they will share their testimonies. Stay with the people. In wing three, we are waiting for you. If you are true, please can you raise the flag? Give me a sign that you are true. Hurry up, but get the details, the correct details. The rest of us, let's be praying because tonight you will have your testimony. You cannot go back with that problem. Councillors, hurry up now. Am I right? The wing, the extension between wing two and three, the open feet. Please, if you are true, let me see the sign. To the far back, let me see the sign. If you are true,
Councillors, please hurry up, but get all the details. Because tonight, the Lord is going to move His mighty power, the power that never fails. And we are eager to experience the power that never fails this night, and you will share your testimonies. Councillors, please hurry up. But get all the details. Now, to my left. Councillors, are you through to my, to my left? Hurry up because very soon the man of God is coming up to release the power of God upon our lives and there will be explosion of miracles here tonight. So we pray, believe in the Lord that tonight will be your night of testimony. Cancel us now. Wing three. Can I see a sign? Supervisors, check up. Be praying, be expecting, don't just be watching, be expecting your miracle, because tonight you will receive a miracle here. Counselors, hurry up, but get all the details. Can I see a sign, please, from... Wing three now. We are waiting for you. Any sign? All right, thank you. To my left. Any sign? The open feet between wing two and wing three. Any sign from there, please, can somebody check up by raising the flag, by waving the flag? We are waiting for you now. Because very soon, our Father in the Lord will come up to pray the miracle prayer. And you will see what the Lord will do tonight. Amen. Amen. Now get ready for your miracle. Shall we rise up, please? As our Father and the Lord, the convener of GCK comes up here to pray the miracle prayer, and you will see what the Lord will do. Sir, you are welcome. Praise the Lord. The time for your healing has now come. Miracle. Signs and wonders. Amen. And ye shall know the truth. Ye shall know the truth. Now you know the truth. Do you know the truth? Amen. Anybody there said, Do you know the truth? Amen. The truth that Jesus is our Savior. That Jesus is our healer. That Jesus is our deliverer. That Jesus Christ 
will not fail the truth. Ye shall know the truth. And it is that truth that sets you free, that makes you free. It's not a crime. It's not rolling on the ground. It's not the feeling. It is the truth that you know. And that truth comes to set you free. You're free tonight. I am free tonight. The moment you will pray, I will mention that name of Jesus. That name will set you free. And then when you hear the final amen, amen me so let it be and so it is. And so it will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Blessed is he and blessed is she who believes because there shall be a performance of those things that were told her, told him from the Lord. Raise up the hand, one hand over here at the Alpha location and anywhere you are, over the radio, over the television, online, in a congregation, online by yourself. And as you know the truth, that truth has come to set you free. Are you there? Raise up that hand. Lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Father, in Jesus' name, we know the truth that you sent the word and you healed them. And there was not one feeble person in all their tribes. Lord, I pray your word that comes in now and comes to the people will bring healing to everyone, deliverance to everyone. I pray it will bring signs and wonders for everyone in Jesus' name. From the top of the head to the tip of the toe. Every part of the body, internal, external, something visible, something hidden. Lord, I pray that your mighty power will work in every heart, every life, everyone in their bodies now. In Jesus' name. Lord, I pray you confirm the miracle of healing. The miracle of deliverance. I pray that fibroid come out in Jesus' name. That is your blood. Stop in Jesus' name. That mental problem is sanity. Come out in Jesus' name. The swelling of goiter, the swelling of ear, the swelling of hunchback, and the swelling of elephantiasis. I command you there. Come out in Jesus' name. I pray that the flow of blood will stop right now in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer be healed in Jesus' name. Ulcer be healed in Jesus' name. That demonic spirit, demonic oppression, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray every incurable disease be healed right now. Terminal disease be healed right now. Every pain in your body, every sickness that you have, every disease that you have, the Lord touch you right now. Be healed. Be free. Be restored into total health in Jesus' name. Confirm the miracle. Confirm the signs and wonders. Confirm the healing on everyone. To my right, in my front, to the left, far at the back, outside, anywhere, everywhere, here, there, online, everywhere, Miracle of healing, deliverance now in everyone in Jesus' name. A performance, a demonstration, 
do it right now lord thank you because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray it is done it is done anywhere you are check up yourself now and you'll see the lord has touched you the lord has healed you those blind eyes open and see those lame legs receive strength now rise up and walk and check up whatever it is that had been the challenge or the problem it is done the final amen has been said you got your miracle I got it. I got it. Check up.